with the stupid ants here. Way too many ants in this car and there's no food. There's no food in the car but yet there's stupid a bunch of ants in the car. No food in the car. What's going on here? I've been having that problem the last few days. Yeah, like I don't eat in the car. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I don't understand what's going on here. Way too many stupid ants. Like, come on. Can it be, you know, I keep the car pretty clean. I don't know what the heck is going on with any of this, but. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. This game is really ridiculous. Gone on before, and we can all say them. 
we can literally remember what they are because it was so clear, build the wall, which was a proxy not just for the actual policy of building a wall, but for the failure to control immigration and all the effects of that over decades. China, standing up to China, again, reversing decades of, of the ideology that was in both parties that said we have to endlessly suck up to China, same with trade. All these things were very, very clear idea and policy-based arguments. It wasn't just Trump's a good showman or Trump's been on TV a lot. There's a real agenda there, and now we can call it the agenda of the American first agenda. It's intellectually coherent and intellectually different to what went to Trump. That's why Trump's exactly right. It was, he's the head of the movement. I remember saying this on my Fox show after Trump left office, and I said, look, Whatever you think of him, whatever happens in the future, very few people in politics actually have real lasting power. Because if you're in office, you can pass laws or whatever, and then the next person can overturn them. Real power in politics is to change the way people think. Very few people do that. I mean, in my experience, the only, in my lifetime, the only people I can think of really on that level of, of really bringing about lasting change would be from the UK, Margaret Thatcher, Ronald Reagan here, and now Donald Trump, who's really changed things in a lasting way. And the idea that Nikki Haley's just going to sort of walk in and, and take that over when she's just shown no interest in advancing those ideas is obviously ridiculous. Do you think, and would it even make any difference at this point, if one of you are allowed, will she endorse him? And again, would, would, would that make any difference? Yes or no? And then we have to take a vote. You want one 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 to answer from me? That's okay. You go this one. I'll tell you what. Let's take the break, and then we'll come back to this very complicated issue of will Nikki endorse Tom? I mean, or maybe she'll endorse Tom. Will she endorse Donald Trump or not? And will it make any difference? Both Steve Rosen and Tom Gaffer are here with me on the Red African program with Jamie James. I am so honored, but let's break out. That's not laying, you stupid. People. Where candidates are heard, and where voters have a voice. This is Fresno's election headquarters. News Talk 580, 105.9, KMJ, and always streaming on your smart device and at KMJNow.com. This is Kristen M. Luzon for Bright Sun Cyber Security. Whether you're a Fortune 500 company or a family business, cyber criminals can make your life a nightmare. Ransomware, insider fraud, data leaks, trusted by law enforcement, and mass conducting that. Bright Sun delivers the Cyber Cybersecurity Session 24 7 emergency incident response services. Call Bright Sun Cyber Security now. 13 plus powered by intel core processors and more plus curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors mics and more must-have electronics and accessories when you shop online at dell.com slash deals you'll have access to leading edge technology and free shipping on everything again that's dell.com slash deals it crawls through your plumbing pipes it pollutes your food it seeps into your skin it's your hard water 
it is upsetting when we show you what is actually in the water in your home. But the corrosive sediments and harsh chemicals in your water don't have to ruin your plumbing and appliances and risk your family's health anymore. We're all Britons, Tommy and AC. And we believe every home should have pure water to drink. Clean water to cook with. Safe water to bathe in. So we've made it an Albertan mission to offer you more water filtration options and better systems at every price level. And family-friendly financing. So you can live a better life with pure, clean water. When you're living a clean water life, you'll feel like a million bucks. Everyone will comment how young you look. Your speeding voice will improve. You won't get stuck in traffic ever again. You'll get that promotion that you don't even deserve. For your better water and better life, call All Britain online at A-L-L-B-R-I-C-T-E-S. I have had three solar homes. Go to that before. I cannot understand why anybody in California right now would not have solar. With Planet Solar, the payment on my loan to build this solar system is 50 to 75 percent less than my monthly PG&E bill, and I can prove that. A lot of the incentives have been torpedoed by the state, but that's incentive right there. My payment is 50 to 75 percent less than my PG&E bill. Solar.com. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you do that when we pay the highest rates in the country now? We just beat Hawaii. Aren't we the lucky? Aloha. Uh, from high cost of electricity. Planet Solar is a local company. For some people, that makes a difference. Solar is all they do. You can dial them at 1-800-859-SOLAR. 1-800-859-SOLAR. And what you pay is steady every month. It's not like your, your power bill that goes up and down and up and down, depending upon the season. Planet Solar. Come on. Number one in the valley. This is the Ray Appleton Show on News Talk 580-1059, KMJ. My friends, we continue day after Super Tuesday with uh, Steve Hilton, who's joined us. Moved him in from yesterday. I thought it would make more sense to talk about results rather than speculating on what would or could happen. And again today myself a car and doing exactly the same helping us out and that question i asked before the break tom i'll start with you will nikki endorse donald trump and will it make any difference at all with the uh those that support nikki here let's say she doesn't her political cop wastes away and it becomes more irrelevant her best shot at gaining future relevance was to have done it last night and so Maybe she'll do it a month from now, but it won't matter then. Exactly. Uh, I completely agree. And I would add one more thing, which is on the make a difference point. There's been all the, the, the media, and again, the Trump hating media and the exception, they love to, they, you've seen it everywhere this morning, the argument, well, you know, she, did, she didn't win, but look, she showed that there's 30, 35% that the Republican Party doesn't want Trump. And so that's a real problem. And he's got to win those people back by giving her something and getting her... It's all complete rubbish. Because most of that vote is Democrat. And he hasn't voted Republican in the first place. It's an anti vote, and people aren't Republican. If you look, for example, at the latest New York Times poll, which is representative sample of the whole country, and they asked the question of the Trump voters who voted for Trump before, how many are still with him? What is that? And they asked the same question of Biden. The answer for Trump is 96%. 96% of the people who voted for Trump last time want to vote for him again. That, uh, by the way, for Biden, it's 85. Mm. So it's, this whole argument that there's this massive group Republican voters who hate Trump and won't vote for him and he's got to bend over backwards to persuade Nikki Haley to it's not true. I want to ask you about the performance of somebody that you supported overwhelmingly uh, in the assembly race last night, David Tagebaum. He didn't do yes. all that well against George uh, Rodanovich, who's got a very well-known name. Also, yes. you know, he's, he's only separated from the Democrat in third place by 35 votes. I've been saying, and I don't think it'll happen if there's any kind of a recount and this guy picks up 30 some odd votes. David's out. What's your feeling about what happened here? Well, you know, it's interesting. I saw the uh, I saw the results um, last night, and I was looking for his name in the top two, and I didn't see his name. I don't know what's going on here. 
he's supposed to be in the top two. And then um, I saw that this morning he'd gone back in and back out. I haven't seen the latest. I've been on the road as I mentioned, so it's obviously very close. Look, it, you know, he's, he's new. Uh, Radonovic is not. Name recognition goes a long way. Um, but I think regardless of what happens, I am very, very certain that David Tungipar has an absolutely enormous future in California politics. You spend any time with him, and I've spent a lot of time with him, he's incredibly smart on policy, but more than that, he articulates a vision for the Republican Party in our state, which is, which is absolutely central to how we take back power in this state, which I'm sure that we will, because it's gone too far. Everyone knows it's gone too far with the Democrats. It's gone far too far. but we do it on the basis of a positive, optimistic message. But David absolutely represents that. So I'm 100% certain he's going to be a name we hear a lot about um, in the years ahead. Whether it's this year or not, he's got a very, very big future, I'm sure of it. Steve, if I may, for you, before I go on news, Again, it goes a little bit like what I say. Obviously, there's a very big difference in age between Steve Garvey and David Bowie. But here's what they have in common. They speak in a very optimistic way. They're attractive to people. So I've been, I've been, I've done numbers of, a number of events with Steve Garvey. I know what he says and how he says it. And he is a very attractive person. And in this, you know, he's different to the everyone's system. Everyone has their own, uh, he's got yeah, huge name recognition, but something that he doesn't have to do with it. Yes. 100%. And also, I think, you know, look, here's a number, I, I said this on my, on, on Fox last night, you know, just now, there's a poll, California-wide poll, 57% of Californians, I think the state's going in the wrong direction. Now, we three may say, well, what on earth is going on with the forces we can say? We see, so in the right section, however, we see some of the majority. In other words, there is a majority for change in California. What Republicans have to do is bring the energy and the optimism in terms of campaigning and that majority who want change and to say, right, if you want change, you've got to vote Republican. One of the things that worries me is where we can go. There's so much talk about AJJJJ between Biden and Trump. Seems a little guy. I mean, it's actually older than me. Not many people are now. This is something that people may be thrown at him, but, you know, uh, I don't know if that's going to be affected in this play, in this state, or not. I think that, honestly, it's, 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 it's different. I mean, it's, he's, he has a manner and a style that I think takes people back to a different age in politics where he's quieter time. He's right, and it was civil, you know, civil, and so on. I think people like that. He's old school, in a good way. And I think that's positive. He doesn't come across as old in a, you know, negative sense. He, he, I mean, you're right to point out the age of age as a fact, which is like people say about Trump. Look, he's, he's, you know, not that much younger than Biden, but there's a difference in terms of energy and focus that you can on another planet. Well, he also sees that, what's the follow-up on that? Oh, there's a difference. He's, he's a world tradition. He's got a world tradition from Adam Schiff and Gavin Newsom, who have become the good willies of their age, who are patently politicians. And so in a year of history, it is the non-politicians that have an open to say, I, you know, this time that whole political world where they don't do anything except the talk. I'm different. And I also want to say something that's also important you said about this talk. You talked about, actually 100% don't, so, you know, what is Maggie Thatcher run on? Ideas and solutions. What is, what is Reagan run on? Here's our problem, here's my solution. Republicans have never done so well. This is the of this country now, right? Uh, when they mass a so when they go out and put an initiative on, like the new team of 47, and say, here's the problem, here's our solution, 
They Republicans win on initiative just by definition of ideas, and they lose what they say nothing by undermining the